how to disassemble and assemble your filter. Let's have a look at the filter. On this side you have your inlet for your liquid. On this side you have your outlet and there is an arrow on the side. For your drain you have your connection down here. On this one there is a valve. Underneath place a bucket or connect a hose. Be sure that it's mounted on the side. This is a pressure filter. If you look here on the side, you have a DFL to let air out of the chamber of the filter. You can open it like this and you can close it again. If we have a look at the controller, you see there is an on off button here. When you turn it on, be sure that the motor will turn clockwise. You can see the arrows up here. So clockwise going this way, so way around. You can feel it on the axle as well. And then you close it again. Before you open the filter, be sure that everything is closed and nothing is turned on. Now I will disassemble the filter. Screw up the bolts. If you have any sticky material inside the filter, it's a good idea to use uh, this hole on the, on the lid to release uh, these two parts. I will lift up the uh, top of the filter. Now I will release the split, take it out, I will lift uh, the housing the rest of the way up, be sure that the filter is stable before you turn the housing. Now you are ready to take up your uh, scraper. Please place it gently on the floor. And now you can release your element. You have this special tool to, uh, to release it. You just mount it like this. You just turn it like this. This tool will release the O-rings from the housing. Now you can take up the element. Be sure to handle it with care. And place it gently here. When you clean your element, be sure to always clean it from the inside and out because the holes are conical. The element has support rings here on the outside that will withstand pressure from the inside and out. But be sure you do not have any back pressure coming here from your outlet and in. If there's any uh, liquid going this way, it could damage the, the element. Let's then assemble the filter. You take your element, be sure that the two O-rings is uh, on the element. If you have a look down here, you can see there is a top ring for the element and there is a bottom ring for the element as well. It's uh, The element needs to be in center of that. So let's put down the element. If the element is installed like this, you can see there is a, a bigger distance over here compared to this. The element is not placed correctly and you just jiggle it down and it falls down, you can see. Now everything is correct. The next thing you need to be sure of is that the blocks here on the top for the lid, they will not, when you close the lid, hit uh, the handles like this, then you could damage the element. The blocks are made to be sure that the element will not turn inside the, the housing. So we'll just place them like this, so be sure that they will not hit when we, uh, when we close. The 
that. Now the O-ring was attached here. I'll just be sure I have this. I'll just put it here on the side. Then I'll take my scraper system. We'll put it down. I'll put on my O-ring. And then I'll take my tool. Put it on like this. This is to be sure that I can turn uh, the scraper when I have the lid over. So now I have a lid. I'll just take a little bit more up. I'll just put it down here. And then I'll align the hole. Like this. I'll put in the split. Secure the lock. Like that. I'll now just lift it a little bit up to release this tool. Now I will just secure that the handles are not under the blocks. This one is closed. The O-ring is here. The scraper looks good. And I'll just close the filter. Now I'm ready to uh, put in the bolts. Please tighten them from one corner to the other corner. Now you're ready to use your filter.